All right. Next topic I want to talk about in section 1.1 is the various symmetries that graphs can have. And again, this is an idea that's kind of best expressed through an example. So I'm on page 63 of this section and I'm going to look at problem number 42. And there are three types of symmetries that we're interested in. There's going to be x-axis symmetry, y-axis symmetry, and then an origin symmetry. So to test for symmetry about the x-axis, what we're going to do is we're going to replace y with minus y. Now, you've got to be very careful here because it's not going to be the case that this is just minus y squared plus 1. What you have to do is always put your minus y in parentheses. Because as you see, in just a moment, this is going to make a big difference. It's not going to come out to be minus y squared. Because minus y, squaring that, is just minus y times minus y. That's what squaring does. It takes something and multiplies it by itself. So the minus times a minus is actually going to leave me with a plus y squared. And generally, we don't write a leading plus like this. We just write it as y squared plus 1. And look at that we actually ended up with the exact same thing. This is the same as the original equation. And if you end up with the same thing, this is going to be symmetric about the x-axis. And this graph, again, it's going to be kind of another parabola turned on its side. is going to look like this. This is x equals y squared plus 1. And symmetry with respect to the x-axis just means that the top half looks exactly the same as the bottom half. And y-axis symmetry is going to be kind of similar. So top half mirrors bottom half. Y-axis symmetry is going to mean that the right half is the mirror image of the left half. And origin symmetry is simply just a rotational symmetry. Origin symmetry means that it's symmetric under a 180 degree rotation. So you could flip it upside down, and if it looks the same, then you have origin symmetry. But let's finish up this problem. So we tested for x-axis symmetry. This does have, because we got the same thing as the original, this does exhibit x-axis symmetry. For y-axis symmetry, you can look at the graph. It doesn't look like it's going to have any y-axis symmetry, because there's stuff on the right half and there's nothing on the left. So it's clearly not a mirror image. They'd have to have, 
you know, if there's stuff on the right, there's they'd have to be stuff on the left, but there's not. So we're not going to see y-axis symmetry. And I'm just going to abbreviate symmetry as SYM. To do this test, you replace x with minus x. And at least in this example, you don't have to be so cautious, but I'm going to go ahead because it's a good habit to establish that whenever you're substituting in minus x or minus y, put the minus x minus y's in parentheses. And in this case, like I said, it doesn't really matter because just parentheses minus x, this is the same thing as you know, minus x. The parentheses aren't guarding anything. I'm not multiplying or adding, you know, nothing else is happening over here. So I can just drop the parentheses. And this, even though it looks really similar, because we both have y, both the original and this have y squared plus one on the right. On the left, the left is entirely different. Just one sign is enough to make a difference. And so since these aren't the same, this doesn't have y-axis symmetry, as we expected. Now to test for origin symmetry, you're going to replace both x with minus x and y with minus y. So, I'm going to have parentheses minus x equals parentheses minus y, then square it, plus 1. Well, just like before with the y-axis symmetry, you know, nothing's happening on the left, so I can just drop the parentheses here. And like with the x-axis symmetry previously, we saw that squaring minus y just left us with y squared. Squaring doesn't care about negatives, just kind of eats those up and doesn't do anything with them. And once again, we're back to this similar but different equation. So this graph does not have origin symmetry. So to summarize, our answer would be something like x equals y squared plus 1 only has x-axis symmetry. So it's just the case that the top half mirrors the bottom half. The left does not mirror the right and it doesn't look the same if I turn the page upside down.